Hi friends, Prepared Suburbanite back at you with uh, thoughts for this week. I've heard an awful lot uh, about our president's uh, gaffes while he was uh, in Europe and the things that he said that were um, totally off base uh, in, in my opinion. And I've heard a number of folks right now calling for um, the 25th Amendment to be activated to remove him from office. And I've done a little bit of research and I wanted to share what I learned about the 25th Amendment with you right now. So stick around. So I'm just going to read portions of section four, which I think is the most applicable section for what's going on. I've uh, obviously heard a number of uh, conservative talking heads um, advocating for the uh, imposition of the 25th Amendment to remove the current president from office, and that would kind of set the stage for uh, the vice president to become either the president or the acting president, and I think there's a difference. So let me just read um, briefly what this says. Whenever the vice president and a majority of the principal officers of the executive departments, now that would be the cabinet, or of other such body as Congress may by law provide, and they haven't, to the best of my knowledge, transmit to the president pro tempore of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives their written declaration that the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, the vice president shall immediately assume the powers and duties of the office of as acting president. Now, um, calling for that, what we've got is um, a hand-picked cabinet. Uh, all the different secretaries, the attorney general, uh, all that kind of stuff, all hand-picked by uh, the current president and the vice president obviously was handpicked and um, duly elected, I guess, to uh, the office. Do you think that they are going to get together with a majority of them, meaning more than 50 percent, um, and they're going to um, issue a declaration that the president is not capable of fulfilling the duties and responsibilities of his office? I don't think so. So why is it that, that the talking heads are pushing now for the invocation of the 25th Amendment? It really doesn't make any sense. Now, I think that um, as, as I did some research into the background of this, and we go back to you know circumstances where um, recent presidents have been um, um, sedated because they were having a colonoscopy or they were having some sort of uh, minor surgery. Um, yeah, they would invoke um, a part of this and um, say, hey, look, I'm not going to be able to do it. And, you know, you can, you can look it up in Wikipedia if you want, but, you know, it, it may last an hour or two while they're under sedation for their colonoscopy, and then they're right back at it. So the vice president can be acting president for just a short period of time. And most of them, um, in fact, I, I couldn't find any examples where that's ever been abused by the vice president, you know, overtaking uh, uh, the office of the president. So if, if that's um, wh what's going to be going on here, that was section three, if uh, the president says, hey, I'm going to be under the knife and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm telling you that right now and there's an immediate kind of a shift uh, once he's incapacitated to the vice president, that's one thing. But section four really gets into having a majority of the existing cabinet make a written declaration to the president pro tempore of the Senate and the Speaker of the House to say, hey, the guy is not capable of fulfilling his duties and responsibilities in the office of the presidency. And that would, that would take um, quite a bit. Uh, he'd have to be 
uh, declared mentally incompetent by a, a, a whole troop of uh, physicians, um, psychiatrists, you name it, and that's just not going to happen. So why are we wasting our breath on trying to invoke the 25th Amendment in this particular circumstance? Chances would be better would there be an impeachment. Well, that's not going to happen, not right now, not with the current makeup of the House of Representatives, who would actually draw up the impeachment charges. And uh, it certainly wouldn't get past uh, the Senate, which right now is 50-50 with a tiebreaker being the vice president herself. Um, right now, it's not a possibility. I don't think it could ever get off the ground. There are uh, too many rhinos on both sides in both houses of uh, Congress to cause this to be just another spectacular waste of time, just like it was with the impeachment hearings and um, the impeachments of Donald Trump in his, uh, um, in his last uh, presidency. And he was impeached twice, if you all remember, but was never removed from office. Even though they came pretty darn close uh, at the end with the January 6th nonsense, but we'll see what that uh, turns out to be. I suspect that there's going to be some very interesting news coming out in the next uh, um, eh, three to six months or so from the January 6th commission. So we'll, we'll see. I'll leave that uh, to, the, uh, to the guessing pundits out there. But we are wasting our time right now talking about the 25th Amendment, talking about impeachment. Um, <laughs> there's, there's nothing that we can do, that the Congress can do, that the cabinet can do right now, or will do right now, because it's just not numerically possible. Our president is a danger to world peace. His verbal gaffes, his takeoffs from um, scripted messages um, have really caused an escalation in the hostilities around the world, and it's opened the door for all kinds of possibilities to happen that uh, we never thought would be possible elsewhere. And yeah, um, he's going to get us in trouble. He already has got us in trouble, and um, I, I, I pray for his soul, but um, he should do the right thing and just simply resign, and he's not going to do that either. So the 25th Amendment, the impeachment process, shouldn't be taken seriously, not until after the midterm elections. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always, and I'll see you all on the next video.